rebound controlled by the Zebras. Cavalry Lingenfelder will bring it up the floor. Lingenfelder through the center circle. Man-to-man -man defense by the cast of Cummins. Goes to the right wing. Ball loses the basketball. Ball loose and picked up by Ryan Holt. Jordan to Abbott behind the arc in the right wing. Bryce holds. Bounce pass inside to Utter. Ball loose on the floor. Cavalry Lingenfelder dies for it. Gets it out of there. Caston picks it up on the loose ball. Turnover. And the Comets coming the other way. Kinzer, bounce pass to the near side to Lau. Back to Kinzer, swings yeah, back to the right side to Lau. That's where Rochester's height's going to be a problem. They get them trapped up there midcourt. That's exactly right. Yeah. Left side to Rands. His dump pass inside's knocked away, but he gets it back. Now to the timeline to Kinsler. Kinsler back to Rands, high on the right side, left side that is. Bounce pass to Kinsler at the timeline. Give Cassie credit. The They're moving that ball quickly. They're not holding it for very long. Dump pass down low to Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb then loses it out of bounds. He's going to say last touch by Ryan Holt. It'll stay with Kasten baseline left. A minute gone here in the first quarter. No score. Kasten basketball baseline left. We have gum on the floor. And Brady Perez picks it up and puts it in his mouth. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he just kicks it out of the way. Kicked it, gets it on his shoe, <laughs> then <laughs> sticks to the floor. Yeah. So it'll be Kinzer baseline left. Look to get it in. Still looking on the baseline, left side. Gets it in to bounce pass to Rands. Rands one dribble to his left. Hartman top of the key. Hartman guarded by Ryan Holt. Now to Lau. Lau a couple of dribbles to his right. Here comes the double team. Gives it in the corner to Hartman. Hartman around Utter on the baseline. Kicks it outside to Lau. Lau from the right elbow. Rises up. Shot no good. And the rebound to Abbott. Abbott. Bryce Abbott runs. Right side of the floor. Hesitates. Now accelerates. Stops on the block. Fakes to a cutting Utter. Now... Top of the key to Perez, to Reinhold. Jordan drives, jump stop. And before the shot, we're going to have a foul on Caston. It'll be out of bounds to Rochester, baseline left. That foul is going to be against Rands, his first team first. So Jordan Reinhold will trigger it in, baseline left. Jordan studies. No look pass to Utter. Now to Reinhold. Back to Utter, left wing. Behind the arc, both passes. Now back to Utter in the corner. Make that to Reinhold in the corner. Jordan holds, now a couple of dribbles to his right. Clears out, now gives to Abbott, top of the key. Abbott sends right side to Lingenfelder, about five feet behind the arc in the right wing with 6.20 to play in the first quarter. Calvary drives, right elbow, cut off by the defense. Kicks it out to Utter. Now to Reinhold, his three, left wing is in and out and good. Good start by Reinhold. Rochester in a full court press. Kinsler pushes it up the floor, over the top to Shane Lobb. Down little Hartman, layup on the way is no good off the mark. Bryce Abbott grabs the board, gives to Reinhold. Jordan right side of the floor for the Zebras, leading 3-0. Under six to play, first quarter. Skip pass to Perez, give to Lingenfelder. Right side to Utter, wide open three, right wing is short. short. Gets his own rebound on the baseline, kicks it out to Reinhold. His wide open three, left wing on the way, is in and out, no good. And the ball's going to be, oh, it's going to be tipped out of bounds. They're saying last touch by, by Rochester, and Caston going to get it back. It was a swat out of bounds by the cast of Comets, and they're going to say Rochester touched it last. Wow. Trey Stasiak into the game for the first time for Rochester and Brady Perez to sit down. 5.40 to play in the first quarter. Rochester leads 3-0. Cast of basketball. Half-court trap coming for Rochester. Bounce pass to Shane Lobb right in front of the Rochester bench, and his pass is kicked away by Jordan Reinhold. It'll stay with Rochester right in front of the Rochester bench. I'm sorry, it'll stay with Caston in front of the Rochester bench. As Lau will look to trigger it in for the cast of Comets. Rochester up 3-0. Lau gets it into the Rochester volleyball line to Kinzer. Kinzer now to Lau. He crosses the timeline right. Gives him the corner to Hartman. Down low to Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb has it knocked away. He picks up a loose ball. Out to low. Now to Kinzer. Three left wing for the Comets. In and out. No good. And the rebound put back by Hartman is no good, but a foul coming on Rochester. And that's going to send... Brady Hartman to the line to shoot two for the Comets. Good to see Tyler Walker coming in where you weren't yeah. sure we are going to see him because of the flu. The foul's on uh, Abbott, his first team first. 5.15 to play in the first quarter. Hartman at the line to shoot two for the Comets. First one on the way is good. The line drive free throw goes in for the senior. So Tyler Walker comes in and Cavalry Lingenfelder to sit. One more coming for the Comets at the free throw line. Hartman made his first one. He'll have one more. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Second for Hartman on the way. Off the back of the rim, no good. Stasiak grabs the board. Lee loses it. Now Walker has it. Outlets to Reinhold. Jordan pushes for the Zebras. Up 3-1. to one. Down little Walker. Tyler Walker fights it with Shane Lobb. Casting comes 
with the basketball, and they're going to stay out of bounds. Last touch by Abbott. It'll stay with Caston. Three minutes gone in the first quarter. Rochester up 3-1. Brady Perez will come back in at the next opportunity. Here comes a little 2-2-1 half-court trap by yeah. the Zebras. Lau has his pass taken away by Utter. Utter jump stop. Threads a needle. Down little Stasiak. His layup is no good. Rebound fall four. Caston comes out of there with it. Lau ahead to Kinzer. Kinzer on the right wing. Against the double team to Shane Lobb. He's on the baseline. And skip pass in the corner to Rands. Somehow gets it to Rands. Rands on the left wing. Top, top of the key to Kinzer. Gets the screen. Works to the right wing behind the arc. Now backs it out to the volleyball line. In the center circle to Lau on the left wing. Back to Kinzer on the right side. Rochester now in a 2-3 zone. As Lau has it with 4.20 to play in the first quarter. Hartman's turnaround jumper off the glass from the free throw line is no good. Jordan Reinholdt rips and runs for the Zebras. 3-1 Rochester. Left side to Utter. Utter, free throw line to Abbott. His jumper on the way is short. And the rebound to Shane Lobb, who clears to Kinzer. Yeah, Caston doing a good job of limiting Rochester to just one shot. 2-2-1. Two, two, one. Half-court trap coming by the Zebra defense. Lau against the double team. Bounce pass from the far side to Rands. And he's going to throw it out of bounds. Rochester going to get it back. He had Shane Lobb wide open on the baseline. Couldn't find him. So Nick Allen will come into the game for the first time tonight for the Zebras. Nick Allen, a 5'10 sophomore. And Brady Perez back in for Rochester. 3.54 to play. In the first quarter, Rochester up 3-1. to one. They've got the basketballs. Reinhold runs the point against the man-to-man -man Comet defense. Perez down low to Allen. Allen. His shot partially blocked, picked up by the Comets. Shane Lobb. Not allowed. Across the timeline to Kinzer. Kinzer runs a point, almost loses it in the backcourt. Now runs away from the defense. One-handed pass out to Lau. Thought about a three, pass it up. Now to the elbow to Hartman. Right side to Kinzer. Kinzer behind in the arc on the right wing. Now pull it out and we'll reset for the cast of comments against the 2-3 zone. Hartman bounce pass to Shane Lobb in the right corner behind the arc. His jump pass to the left wing to Rands. Rands one dribble, now to Kinzer. 3.15 to play in the first quarter. Rochester leading 3-1. Hartman to Shane Lobb with the right elbow. Picks up his dribble, out to Lau. His three left wing for the Comets is good. And Caston leads 4-3. to three. That time Caston did a really good job of keeping the floor spread, keep people staying in their, in their lanes and in their places. They moved the ball quickly around the floor and finally found an open shooter. 2.50 to play in the first quarter. Lot pass to Walker. Tyler Walker fouled on the shot. Before the shot, oh. it'll be a foul on the floor. It'll be out of bounds to Rochester as the ball goes down. But the foul's be... on Hartman. That's his first team second. So out of bounds to Rochester, baseline left as Reinhold will let you trigger it in. 2.45 to play in the first quarter. Comets lead 4-3. to three. Reinhold gets it into Perez. Brady, left elbow, brings it out top of the key behind the arc, gives to Allen. Nick Allen with the basketball, drives it right to the elbow, kicks it out to Utter on the right wing. Now left wing pass to Reinhold. Fakes left, goes right, rises up at the free throw line. His shot is good, and Rochester back up 5-4. to four. Reinhold has all five all of the points five, for yes. Rochester. Caston breaks the press easily. Lau goes to the basket. Leaner on the way. No good. Shane Lobb's follow off the glass is good. Caston back up 6-5. to 2.15 to play in the first quarter. Perez drives. Right elbow cut off by the defense. Now being double teamed. Gets near side. It's picked off by Lau. Lau for the comments. Right side of the floor. Loses the handle. Picks up the basketball. And he throws the ball away to Tyler Walker. Who gives to Reinhold. Rochester runs to our left. Down by one. Brady Perez on the, behind the arc on the right wing to Reinhold. Jordan, left elbow. Now to Perez, his jumper short. Hartman for Caston with the rebound. Outlets to Rands. 100 seconds to play in the first quarter. Caston leading 6-5. to five. Hartman on the right wing behind the arc. Now way outside left to Lau. Lyle backs it out to the center circle with 90 seconds to play in the first quarter. Rochester leading, uh, make that cast and leading 6-5. Kinzer, pull-up jumper over the defense is no good, and we're going to have a weak side foul on Shane Lobb. On Shane Lobb, yep. That'll be his first, team third. So he pushed off just to fuzz. Yep, Tyler Walker with inside position. Alex on a field and Bryce Abbott will come back in for the Rochester Zebras. Also coming in for Caston is Zane Scott and also Brummett. Wyatt Brummett comes in for the Comets. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman, 125 to play. In the first quarter, the Comets lead 6-5. Jordan brings it up through the center circle. Left wing pass to Perez. Behind the arc, Perez 
Fakes right, goes left, loses the hand on the baseline, and Rochester going to give it back to Caston. That's four turnovers here in the first quarter for Rochester. Minute 15 to play in the first quarter. Caston leading 6-5, to five, and they'll bring it up the floor. 2-2, one half-court trap coming again for the Rochester Zebras. Caston's done a really good job of moving the ball away from the trap. Kinzer's long three is good from downtown. And now cast it up 9-5 to five with under a minute to play in the first quarter. Jordan Reinholdt pushes. Perez left wing. Brady fakes right, goes right. Top of the key at the free throw line, loses the handle. Now gets it back and gives to Allen high on the right side. Allen right wing at the elbow now to Reinholdt. His three right side. Good. Jordan with all eight Rochester points. Nine to eight, Caston, 35 seconds to play in the first quarter. Kinzer will walk it across the timeline. Brandon Kinzer against Brady Perez. Picks up his dribble. Bounce pass to the near side to Brummett. Brummett against Allen. Now to Shane Lobb in the center circle with 18. Rochester now in a man-to-man playing really, really tight defense. Kinzer with 13. Fakes the three. Gives outside to Brummett. Now to Shane Lobb with eight. Shane Lobb behind the arc in the right wing with six. Works against Onafield. Now to Kinzer with four. Kinzer drives it left with three. Behind his back dribble. Leaner at the buzzer on the way is good. After one, Caston leads the Zebras. 11 to eight. You're listening to Rochester Basketball. 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Going to the second quarter, the Comets leading the Zebras here at Rochester High School, 11-8, and Brad Comets will start the second quarter with the ball. Yeah, Rochester tried trapping them there at midcourt, but Kassam was really doing a good job of spreading the floor and uh, moving the ball from side to side. Uh, efficiently and ev- evading that trap. So Rochester's kind of called it off and just dropped back to a 2-3. So Casson again with the basketball. Backdoor pass taken away by Bryce Sabat. Gives to Reinholdt. Rochester runs. Jordan has all eight points for the Zebras. Brady Perez to Reinholdt, top of the key. Swings right side to Klingenfelder, down the corner to Utter. Austin Utter, no dribble. Gives to Reinholdt down top of the key, and they reset against the man-to-man defense. 30 seconds gone here in the second quarter. Down low, bounce the pass to Utter against the uh, Shane Lobb. His oh, leader wow. off the glass is good. Nice great, body control. Yeah, great shot by Utter. Rochester cuts the cast and lead to one at 11 to 10. Coach Davis will send a couple of the end of the next dead ball for the Comets. Kenzer, Brumman on the right wing, drives it left of the elbow. Travels, good job by Cavalry Lingenfelder. With him, step yeah. his first step, and when he rose up, so did Calvary and forced a turnover. I think uh, Rochester dropping back into that 2-3 and switching in the man-to-man periodically has really done a lot better yep, job. I agree. Uh, the trap just wasn't working. So Rochester, the basketball, trying to see who came in. I believe that was Mark Smith for Casson, who comes in for the first time tonight. Lingenfelder around the pick. In the corner to Reinhold, his three is off the back of the rim, no good. Utter with the rebound, out to Reinhold. Back to Utter, now to Jordan. Thought about a three, top of the key to give it to Perez. Brady, 18 feet away from the basket. Couple of drives into the paint. Kicks it out to a wide open Reinhold. Left baseline, three is good. Jordan has 13 and the Zebras, I'm sorry. 11. Jordan has 11 and the Rochester Zebras back up 13 to 11. Kinzer against the two three zone. Gives to Rands high on the right side. Now top of the key to Brummett. Back to Rands. Brummett at the volleyball line. Free throw line pass. Kicks it back outside to Kinzer. Kinzer fakes the shot. Gives to Brummett on the left wing. Back to Kinzer. Three for the Comets. Left side. No good. Brady Perez rises up. Grabs the board. 
Atlas to Lingenfelder. Rochester runs up by two. Two minutes gone in the, thir- in the second quarter. To Reinhold. Thought about a three in the baseline. Yeah. Gives to Perez. Now right side to Lingenfelder. High on the right side to Utter. He'll fire a three from downtown. It's good. Yeah, right, Utter and Reinhold starting to heat up now. Caston will use a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. 5.46 to play in the first half. Rochester now leads again 16-11. to And after the cast of timeout, they'll have the basketball going to our right. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Don't forget, coming up tomorrow night, non-conference action and coming off a huge win on Saturday, the Lady Zebras back in action against the Plymouth Lady Pilgrims. You can hear that game on WROI. Then a doubleheader. Guy-girl doubleheader on uh, Friday, night. Friday night. We'll get to that to format here coming up, too. Lingen, uh, make that. Reinhardt steps in the p- passing lane. Foul on the shot. He'll go to the lane to shoot, two. Hey, short, short. Kyle Reinhardt's a freshman, comes into the game for the first time tonight. He had 10 in the JV contest. Wow, going to pick up the foul. That'll be his first, team fourth. So Kyle Reinhardt's at the line to shoot two for the Zebras, who lead by five with five and a half to play in the first half. Kyle Reinhardt's is 6'1 freshman. So you look at the floor for the Zebras, you've got a two seniors mm-hmm. and a junior and a freshman and a sophomore. It's a good mix. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be at this point. 16-11, Rochester got leads. Him. If you've got an undefeated JV team, you figure some of them sophomore and freshmen probably ought to step up. You're right. Yep. Reinhardt's with two. First one for the southpaw on the way is good as it rattles in. Shane Law back into the game for Caston, and Hartman will check out. One more for Reinhardt's. Kyle eyes the second one, lets her fly. Good again. Rochester now by seven, biggest lead of the night with five and a half to play in the first half. And then Brady Perez forces a turnover. Rochester going to get it back, baseline left. Ryan Holt will look to get it in. Jordan Reddy slaps the basketball, sends things in motion. Law pass into Utter, takes the three, gives it back to Ryan Holt on the left wing. Now to Utter, top of the key at the volleyball line, back to Ryan Holt left side. Behind the arc for the Zebras, one dribble to his right. Now to Utter in the uh, center circle with 5.15 to play in the first half. Rochester by seven. Brady Perez on the right wing. Back to Reinhardt oh. in the paint. He's traveled Traveled. before he yeah. rises up. I think he got uh, tripped coming down on the uh, kind jump of, stop. Kind of lost his balance. Yep. yep. I like that drive, though. Yeah. It looked good until he lost his balance and took the <laughs> extra step. 5.07 to play. Rochester in a full court press. 5.07 to play in the first half. The ball is tipped away. Jordan Reinhold has it. He pulls up from 10 feet off the window. No good. Reinhardt kicks it out to Utter. He'll take the 18-footer. It's oh, short, short. Air ball. And now we're going to have a – no. We're Knocked gonna, out of bounds. Yeah, yep. Jordan Reinhold knocks the, the rebound out of bounds. It'll stay with Caston. Well, caston has gone three minutes now without a bucket. Four-court press by the Zebras. Kinzer over the top to Lau. Lau crosses the timeline against the triple team and then Ooh. throws it behind a cutting Shane Lobb out of bounds. Rochester going to get it back. Yeah, I had Shane Lobb wide open out front. And yep. Just couldn't get it to him. 4.47 to play in the first half. Rochester up 18 to 11. Coming up at halftime, we'll have first half numbers and we'll also talk about the format um, for Friday night. On, for Friday night. Yeah, it's kind of kind of different. Brady Perez, 10 feet behind the three point line on the right wing, gives to Utter. Now to Reinhardt's. Kyle drives, cut off on the block, kicks it out to Lingenfelder. To Reinhold, three with the defender in his face is wow. good. Yep. That's fourth three-pointer now for Reinhold. And Rochester now out to a 10-point lead at 21 to 11. Caston breaks the press easily. Lau will take it to the basket. Oh. He travels, no call, and the rebound to Utter. Utter outlets to Reinhold. Rochester runs up by 10. Reinhold middle of the floor, no look pass to Reinhardt's. Kyle fakes, rises up, loses the handle. Going to be tipped out of bounds by Caston. It'll stay with... Rochester baseline right. Reinholz might have waited just a little too long for the head fake. If he'd have gone up right away, he might have had a better opportunity. Hartman there. back into the game and setting down as Smith yeah. for the cast of Comets. Jordan Reinholz to Lingenfelder, top to Perez. Brady to Reinholz, left wing, high over the top to Utter, 10 feet behind the arc on the right wing. 
Under four to play in the first half. Rochester up 21 to 11. Austin backs it out outside the volleyball line and resets for Rochester as he's directs traffic dribbling with his right uh, left hand. Yeah, Rochester on a 13-0 run right now. Lingenfelder, three left baseline, no good. And Kassner the rebound. Kinzer runs. Kinzer middle of the floor for the Comets. Thought about a three, passes it up out to Rands. He dribbles to, dribbles to the left wing. Picked up his dribble, Jordan Reinhold in his jersey to Shane Lobb behind the arc. He loses the handle. Utter lo- runs down the loose ball and gives to Lingenfelder. Rochester pushes up by 10. Uh, uh, Reinhold left wing three. Nope. Rebound fought for. Ball being tipped around, and I believe Kyle Reinhardt uh-huh. is going to be whistled for over the back. That'll be his first. Team second. 3.15 to play in the first half. Again, Rochester leading 21 to 11. Baseball pass all the way into Shane Lobb, and he has it stripped. Oh! oh late whistle. Going to catch Utter. And Austin Utter going to be whistled for the reach-in foul. It'll be out of bounds to cast him baseline right with 3.12 to play in the first half. It'll be Utter's first, team third. But good foul because it stopped the layup by Shane Lobb. Kinzer, baseline right for the Comets. To Rands. Bounce pass back to Kinzer in the corner. Now it works to the wing. Now brings it all the way around the horn to the top of the key. 3.06 to play in the first half. Rochester up 21 to 11. Lau with the basketball. One dribble. Now to Rands in the center circle. Back to... Lau behind the arc, five feet left wing. Bounce pass is knocked away, tipped away. Ball still loose. Rochester comes out of there with it. Utter to Reinholt. Rochester runs. Left side to Brady Perez. He goes to the basket, rises up and dunks it with two hands, with a hand in his face, by the way. In traffic. Yeah, nice job by Perez. Casting quickly up the floor. They break the press. Lau has this almost stolen. Now out to Kinzer. He thought about a three, pass it up. Now to Rands. Swings left side to Lau. 2.25 2.25 to play. 15-0 run by Rochester. And it's 23-11. to 11. Right side three for Kinzer is short. And the rebound to Lingenfelder. He rips and runs. Lingenfelder right side of the floor. Holds up. Gives outside to Utter. Left side to Perez. Brady rises up from 18 feet. No good. Shane Lobb on the board for casting. Flips it out to Kinzer. Two minutes to play. First half. Rochester up 23-11. to 11. Trey Stasiak will come back in for Rochester in the next opportunity. Shane Lobb out to Lau, right side of the floor. Now gives him the corner to Kinzer. Kinzer, three over Perez, good. That's the first bucket since the end of the first quarter for Kasten. 100 seconds to play in the first half. Rochester up by nine at 23-14, and then Rochester loses it out of bounds. And it'll go back to the Comets. Ends a 15-0 run by Rochester. Scott back into the game for Caston. Trey Stasiak back into the game for the Zebras. Lingenfelder to sit. Rochester in a 1-2-2 full court trap. Full court press. Kinzer against the double team. Splits it to Hartman. Over the top to Lau. Lau, three over Utter. Is good. Every time Rochester presses, Caston finds a way to break it. Caston has a Rochester lead down, down to six. Utter, three, left wing for the Zebras, short, rebound to Reinhardt. He is drilled down low, no call. Kasten strips it away from him, and now they have it going to our right. Three on the way for Scott is no good. Air ball to Utter, and Utter's going to be fouled by Shane Lobb with 106 to play in the first half. And that'll be two now on Shane Lobb, team fifth. And that'll probably bring uh, Mark Smith in for him. Yeah, Smith will come in and Shane Lobb will come out. With two fouls, 106 to play in the first half. Rochester up 23 to 17. So Reinhold will bring it up. Jordan with a huge first half for the Zebras. We'll walk it through the center circle. Now drift to his right. Directs traffic from there. Bounce pass to Reinhardt's. Kyle holds. Looks back door to Utter. Nice feed. Nice finish. Austin Utter has two. Two more, I should say. Two more, yeah. He's got seven in this quarter. Lead is back to eight for the Zebras at 25 to 17. 40 seconds of play in the first half. Lau on the right wing against Rochester's zone defense. Bounce pass is tipped away. Ball loose, picked up by Jordan Reinholt. Reinholt right side of the floor with 30. Slows up. And look, I think Coach Malco will yeah. like to take the final shot of the half. Yep, look for the last one. Reinholt dribbles at the volleyball line. Now goes to the three point line to Utter with 20. Austin around the defense with 18. Bounce pass to Stasiak with 16. Trey holds just outside the center circle. Now gives to Reinhold with 12. Jordan gets the play from Coach Malco with nine. 
Dribble to the timeline. To Utter now back to right hole with five. Jordan with three. Jordan floater on the way with two is good. And that'll do it for the first half. After one, Rochester, after one half, I should say, Rochester leads 27-17. Post game, or the yeah, halftime show coming up next, <laughs> 92.1 WROI. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. On the bank board. There we go. Lau, Kinzer, Shane Lobb, Hartman, and Rands for the cast of Comets. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Lingenfelder at, at the free throw line. Kicks it out to Utter at the volleyball line. He backs it out of the center circle and resets for Rochester. Zebras by 10 as we start the third. Reinhold a huge first half for the Zebras. Yep, 16 points in that first half for Jordan Reinhold on four three-pointers. Utter drives it left hard. Kicks it outside to Abbott. Left wing pass to Reinhold and down the corner to Utter. To Lingenfelder, wide open three, left wing. In and out, no good. Rebound fall for Abbott, comes out of there with it. Gives to Reinhold, now to Perez, swings to Utter. Now left side to Lingenfelder. Cavalry drives, jump stop in the paint. Leaner on the way off the glass, no good. Rebound fought for. Right Abbott comes out of there yep. again. Gives to a running Utter. His layup is no good. Gets his own rebound. Pat back, no good. But a foul coming on Caston. And Austin Utter will go to the line to shoot two. Wow, Rochester with a lot of opportunities there. Bryce Abbott doing a good job of keeping that ball and that possession alive. And wow, Shane Law picks up his third to start this third quarter. So 50 seconds gone in the third quarter. Austin Utter at the line to shoot two for the Zebras, who lead by 10. The senior eyes the first one. Off the back of the rim, off the side of the rim, and falls off. No good. Back into the game for Caston is Brummett. And the 6'5", Shane, yep. Shane Lobb goes to the bench. Three fouls. Austin Utter with one more for the Zebras, looking to push this lead to 11. Second one is uh, good as it hits the front of the rim. High off the backboard and in, and it's 28-17. Full court press by Rochester. Kinzer, wide open is Lau. Left-handed layup on the way, and blocked out of bounds by Utter. Get it out of here! <laughs> yeah, Lau probably hesitated a little too long, allowed Utter to get in there and to get into position. But again, casting a great job of breaking that full court yeah, pressure. right. Kinzer, baseline left, will look to get it in for the, Z, uh, for the Comets. Rochester by 11, with a minute gone in the third quarter. Kins are looking, looking, got a hurry. Over the top to Lau. Oh, and then he stepped over. If he'd have just he, stepped over when he caught the ball, he'd have been fine. But He, he, he caught it, brought his feet back in, and then his balance put, pushed his right foot back. into the backcourt and over the yep. timeline. Turnover casting. You're right, if he'd have just come down and straddled just, it, he'd have been just fine. If he'd just come down in the front court, he'd have been fine. Yep. Or in the back court, either way. Brady Perez in the left wing, crossover dribble goes to the baseline. His leaner off the way is good, and the foul. Brady Perez will go to the line to shoot one freebie. The Zebra lead now is 13 with 6.52 to play in the third quarter. And Rands will pick up his second foul. His second team second. At the line, shooting one for the Zebras. Brady will have one for the Zebras. Looking to push this lead to 14. The junior flies the free throw in and out, no good. Abbott with a board. The putback is good. And Bryce Abbott again in there. For the rebound. 30 second cast and timeout. You're listening to Zebra Basketball 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. 6.48 to play in the third quarter. Rochester now out to a 32 17 lead. And after the Cam cast and comet timeout, they'll have the basketball. And here comes the 2 uh, 2 two, one half court, half -court trap. Yep. Can, uh, make that Rands in the backcourt, being double teamed. Gets it in the paint to Brummett. Down low to Hartman. Turnaround jumper off the glass. No good. Abbott another board. Outlets to Reinhold. 
ahead to Perez. Brady hesitates, accelerates. Jumper on the way, no good. Abbott, another rebound. Kicks it out to Lingenfelder. Now to Utter, three left wing for the Zebras. No good, but a foul coming down low. Is that going to be on Abbott? Brady Perez just got knocked into next week with a shoulder <laughs> block and no call. Yep, Bryce Abbott going to pick up the foul. That's his second. Rands comes out of the game. Back in is Scott for the Comets with 6.20 to play. In the third quarter, Zebras up 32-17. to 17. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Girls basketball tomorrow night. The Rochester Lady Zebras home with Plymouth in a non-conference game. Rochester in a man-to-man defense. Kinzer bounce pass to Brummett. He loses the handle, gets the basketball back. Now the ball loose again. It's still on the floor. We're going to have a scramble for it. We're going to have a tie-up. Caston will get it back. Just under six to play in the third. Rochester up by 15 at 32 to 17 here at Rochester High School. Caston crosses the timeline. Kinzer works against Brady Perez. Left side pass to Lau, to Kinzer. Ball down low to Scott, loose again. We're gonna have an out of bounds, whistled against the Comets. Rochester gonna get it back. So sectional draw for girls is this weekend? I think it's this Sunday. Yeah, that'll be a big deal for uh, Rochester. That's a big deal. Yeah. We go to Oak Hill. We got the number one team in Class 2A in our sectional. North Miami girls. A lot of good teams in our sectional. Lingenfelder fouled on the floor. Val, did you say the, the uh, North Miami girls playing tonight against Oak Hill? Against Oak Hill. They have Oak Hill tonight, does North, North Miami. Northfield, Northfield tomorrow yeah. night. And then Wallbash, Wallbash on Saturday. Saturday, yeah. Yowza. That's a... All on the road? Oh, Lord. Oh, good heavens. That's a gauntlet. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that might be the understatement of the year. Ryan Holt looks to get it in, baseline left. Bounce pass to Utter, rises up from 10 feet off the window. Nope, too hard. Shane Lobb grabs the board and outlets to Kinzer. 32-17, Rochester, 5.20 to play in the third quarter. Kinzer in the right elbow, kicks it outside to Lau. Lau around the double team, and now we're going to have a foul on Brady Perez right in front of the Rochester student section. It'll be out of bounds to uh, Kasten on the far side with 5.19 to play in the third. And Trey Stasiak will come back in for Rochester. Perez will pick up his first team second. Trey Stasiak will replace Bryce, uh, Bryce Abbott for the Zebras. Yeah, Bryce, that's a heck of a performance there in just the last couple, right, totally agree. three minutes of this first, uh, second quarter, he is, he's, third quarter. He has at least five rebounds You're right. in the first three minutes of this second half. Three for Kinzer is good again. Kinzer with his third three of the ball game. He's got 11 now for Kasten. Five minutes to play in the third. It's 32 to 20, Rochester. Perez on the right baseline. In, outside the three-point line, his pass is tipped right into the hands of Reinhold. Jordan holds back to Perez. Takes about driving the baseline. A couple of the dribbles to the wing. Dribbles away from trouble. And now we're going to have a foul on Hartman, who just basically pushed him out of bounds. Brady gets up with a little smirk on his face. <laughs> Hartman picks up his second, team four. <laughs> his second, team four. Jordan. Reinhold looked to get it in. Bounce pass into to Stasiak. But Brummett is going to uh, be whistled for the reach-in foul. Yeah, that'll be I his, believe. Yeah, that'll be his first, team fifth. His first, team fifth. A couple of more fouls here. Rochester will be shooting for the rest of the half. 447 to play. In the third quarter, Rochester by 12 at 32 to 20. Lingenfelder will bring it up the floor. Man-to-man -man defense for the Comets. Lingenfelder takes Brummett to the left wing. Now top of the key. Gives off to Reinhold. Jordan runs the point for Rochester. Back to Lingenfelder, left side. Calvary, a couple of dribbles. Back to Jordan, now right side to Stasiak. Trey, bounce pass on the baseline to Lingenfelder. Calvary in the right wing. Gives on the baseline to Perez. Brady, cross-court pass to Reinhold. Three for the Zebras on the way. Is off the back of the rim, no good. Lingenfelder grabs the board, but a foul coming against Calvary for climbing the back of Brummett. So Lingenfelder picks up his first, team third. 4.20 to play in the third. Zebras winning here at home by 12 at 32 to 20. Kinzer with the basketball for the Comets. Reinhold will pick him up at the volleyball line, swings right side to Brummett. Brummett drives it left at the free throw line, rises up and puts it in for two. 
That's his first point of the ball game. Now Kasten has the lead down to 10. Perez goes to the basket hard, throws up a tough shot. We're going to foul on the shot. It'll be either Shane, uh, Shane, Shane Lobb, Lobb that'll be his fourth. or Hartman. Who's that going to be whistled against? Yep, Hartman's going to pick that up. That's his third. What I don't understand is that foul, that play was virtually over, and then the whistle, the whistle blew. Blew, yeah. I don't know if he was waiting to see if that thing was going to go down. If it was, no foul, but I don't know what we were waiting for. <laughs> yeah, I would think it would be a foul regardless. Brady Perez will go to the line to shoot two for Rochester with just under four to play in the third quarter. Rochester by ten. Brady Perez has two. The first one for the junior is nope, no good. So, yeah, big night Friday night. If you're not doing anything, come on out to Rochester's gym. Um, well, I tell you what. You're right, it's senior night. Let's hand it on to the seniors. But more yeah. importantly, that's we're still big, fighting for it. That's a big TRC matchup you're not for kidding. both the boys and the girls. Is a, yep, you're the not guys kidding. only have one loss in the conference. It's early in the season for their conference season yet. But Manchester's a, a team that really took Rochester to the woodshed and oh beat boy. them pretty good last year. That would be a huge win for the guys. But now boy, they have two Hambies. The girls just put themselves in the driver's seat for the TRC, and that's a big one against Manchester Friday night. Here comes a running trap defense. Hartman around to Kinzer. Kinzer against Perez. Jump stop in the lane. Gets the basketball back after losing it. Being chased around by Abbott. Now to Hartman over the top to Lau. Lau inside the three-point line. Bounce pass to Brummett. Back to Lau on the right wing. Lau baseline pass to Shane. Lob to Hartman. Fouled by Pre Abbott. Will be out of bounds to Caston. 3.32 to play in the third quarter. Rochester by 11. That's the third Alex, on Abbott, sorry. Okay, that's all right. Alex Onifield back into the game, and Cavalry Lincoln fell to sit. 33-22, Rochester. Kinzer baseline right. We'll look to get it in. Bounce pass to Shane Lobb. Hunter Shane Lobb top of the key to Lau. Lau with the basketball. Back to Kinzer. Wide open three. Right wing off the back of the rim. No good. Shane Lobb grabs the board. Bangs it off the leg of Utter out of bounds. It'll... Stay with Kasten, baseline right. Kinzer again. Under his basket, no look pass to Shane Lobb. 15-footer on the way, nope, too hard. On a field with a rebound, taken away by Shane Lobb. His put back is good. And now the Rochester lead is down to nine at 33-24. Perez on the right side, now top to Reinhold, left side to Utter. Austin holds, 10 feet behind the arc on the left wing and directs traffic against Brummett. Takes Brummett to the left elbow. Outside to Reinhold. Jordan with the basketball. Drives it right in the paint. No look pass to Abbott. Bryce with the basketball. Rises up. Shot no good. On a field of the basketball. On the rebound. And he has it ripped away by Brummett. And Brummett gives to Kinzer. Tyler Walker will come back into the game. 2.40 to play in the third. Casting down by nine. Kinzer against the man-to-man. -man. Out of Hartman against Utter. Top of the key to Kinzer at the volleyball line. Looks at a three, fakes a three, drives it. His leaner in the paint on the way is good. Brandon Kinzer with the uh, basket. Abbott, wraparound pass. We're going to have a foul on Lau, and that should send Bryce Abbott to the line for one and the bonus. So Lau pick up his third. Team seventh. His third. So Abbott at the line for one of the bonus. Tyler Walker comes in, and Alex Onafield will sit for Rochester. 2.17 to play in the third quarter. Rochester leads 33-26. to Abbott with one of the bonus. Sophomore eyes it, lets her fly, and it's good. Nothing but net. Lingenfelder will come back in for Abbott if he makes his free throw. Rands back in for Kasten. And Lau to sit. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. 2.17 to play. In the third quarter, it's 34-26 Rochester. Abbott with one more for the Zebras. Bryce shoots the second freebie. It's in again. Lingenfelder back in, and Bryce Abbott will come out. What are his numbers? Uh, he's got four all in this quarter, but he's probably got half a dozen rebounds I, as well. In this quarter. In this quarter. Yep, I agree with that. Yeah. Kasten with the basketball. Rochester in a 2-3 zone. Kenzer through the center circle to his to our left. Now to Brummett. Brummett at the three-point line, top of the key. Has his pass taken away. Picked up by uh, Lingenfelder. Cavalry hesitates. Goes to the basket. Floater short. 
Tyler Walker is going to lose the basketball out of bounds, and it's going to go back to Caston. Wow. A lot of contact in there on Tyler Walker. Well, I think he was pushed onto the back <laughs> of Brummett. <laughs> right. And no call. Two minutes to play, third quarter. Rochester by nine at 35-26. Kenzer against the 2-3. Bounce pass on the right wing to Brummett. He drives it left a couple of free th uh, dribbles to Rands. Now to Kenzer, back to Rands. Now to Kenzer on the left wing. Thought about a three. A couple of dribbles to his right. Backs it out. Resets for Kasten against the 2-3. Rands back to Kenzer. Three over Lingenfelder. In and out, no good. Walker with the rebound. Hit hard. Oh, my good heavens. Wow. Tyler Walker was drilled by Shane Lobb, and then Walker's going to be whistled for the travel. Yowza. Yeah. 130 to play in the third quarter, 35-26. Sure how that's a travel. He, he went down and put his hand on the floor and then stood back up. But I, I guess. I don't know. His feet never moved. We make up rules as we go sometimes. Yeah, well, I mean, his feet never moved. Yep. So I could see if he fell on his hot side or something, and, but no. Shane Lobb, down low to Hartman. Leaner is good. Rochester's defense on the block fell asleep, and Hartman put it in for an easy two. So the minute five to play in the third quarter, Rochester's lead's down to seven. Perez drives the baseline, pull up 10-footer on the way is no good. Rebound to Shane Lobb and Kasten. Shane Lobb outlets to Kinzer. Kasten runs under 50 seconds to play in the third quarter. Zebra's up by seven at 35-28. Kinzer dribbles near the timeline against Reinhold. Bounce pass left side to Rands. His three is short. Lingenfeller picks up the rebound and pushes with 38. Lingenfelder, jump stop, outside of Reinhold. Jordan with the basketball with 30. Now they'll pull it out for the one shot. So Jordan just dribbles here in the corner about midcourt. 20 seconds to play in the third. Rochester by seven. Reinhold drifts to his left with 14. Directs traffic at the volleyball line with 12. Bounce pass to Walker with 10. Walker holds with eight. Bounce pass to Utter with seven. Utter drives it. Out to Reinhold with two. His jumper three is good at the buzzer. After three, Rochester leads again by 10. You're listening to Zebra Basketball 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Going to the fourth and final quarter with the Zebras leading 38-28. And I think Rochester has had the basketball at every quarter break. <laughs> Seems like it, doesn't they it? They won yeah. the tip. They had it in the second quarter. They started with the third quarter, yeah. and now they get to start in the fourth quarter of the basketball. Wow. I like it. Langenfelder gets the inbounds pass from Reinhold. Calvary across the timeline against the man-to-man -man defense. Bounce pass to Reinhold on the right, right wing. Down low to Utter. Utter on the right block. Kicks it out. Or down low to Reinhardt, just turn around, jumper in the paint is no good. It falls off, and Shane Lobb with the board. Jordan Reinhold's having a huge game again. He is. He's got 19 so far. Rands with the basketball, picks up the loose ball. Now gives to, down low to Shane Lobb. Kicks it out to Kinzer. Three on the way is an air ball, no good. Hartman can't save him from going out of bounds. It'll go back to Rochester. Yeah, Reinhold's only bucket in that uh, third quarter came at the buzzer as he hit the three to finish the quarter. How many? He's got 19, <laughs> but he basically called that. He looked over at the coach, says, you want a three? Got the nod. He went down to the baseline, came back out, got the ball, and popped it. Yep. 38-28, <laughs> Rochester up, and then the, pa the pass is taken away by Kasten. Rands has it to Hartman. Back to Rands as he crosses the timeline. Now hands off to Lau with a minute gone 
in the fourth quarter. Rochester by 10 with seven minutes to play in the game. Loud to Kinzer in the left corner. Fakes it right, goes left. Nice recovery by Jordan Reinhold. Now out to Hartman. Hartman drives to the free throw line. Kicks it out to Kinzer. Now to Rands. Things right side to Shane Law behind the arc on the right wing. Good job running the clock. <laughs> 6.35 to play in the game. Rochester by 10. Lau for three, left baseline. Nope. Weak side rebound to Brady Perez, and he outlets to, Rein uh, to Lingenfelder. Calvary across the timeline, and we're going to have a Rochester timeout. It will be a 60. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. 38-28. After the Rochester timeout, they'll have the basketball going to our right. They'll trigger it in at the timeline across court. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Post-game show coming up. We'll talk to Rob Malco about this one. He hasn't even taken his coat off yet. Has he this year? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ryan holds the free throw line and throws it out of bounds. <laughs> Tipping New Valley leads Peru girls at halftime, 40 to 19. Ooh. How would you like to be Peru right now? Yeah, ouch. Thinking, I'm ugh. guessing they might be shooting a little better percentage than what they did Saturday <laughs> Seems night. Seems to be. Yeah. Lau, left wing, and his entry pass. Goes out the oh, doors and down touched the hall. By, touched by Rochester. Oh, what? There wasn't even anybody in. Yeah, maybe we're gonna have a little vicinity. Have a conversation here. So they're gonna say casting basketball right now, but there is a conference on the baseline. There wasn't anybody around the ball in, wearing yeah. white. No, they're, and they're gonna, gonna overturn Rochester it. And Rochester gonna get the possession back. Have it back into the game and Lingenfelder to check out. Two minutes gone in the fourth quarter. Rochester by 10. Abbott to Jordan. Back to Bryce. Now to Austin. To Brian Holt now to Utter. Across the timeline to Abbott. I make that to Utter. Utter. Cross court to Reinholdt. Jordan top to Abbott. Back to Reinholdt left wing, and he'll bring it out. Will Jordan and reset for Rochester on the left side. Reinholt against Hartman. Takes him right hard in the paint. Kicks it out to Reinhardt's. Kyle, wrap around past the press. He rises up off the window, is good. Nice look for Kyle Reinhardt's, the freshman, yeah. to the junior, Brady Perez. Perez was seven. Five and a half to play in the basketball game. Rochester by 12. Rands out to Kinzer. Three over Reinhardt. Good. Kinzer with 16 now for Caston. Perez. Reinhardt to Utter. Drives it left, Will Austin to the baseline. Kicks it out to Reinholt. To Brady Perez, right side. Dump pass down low to Abbott. Abbott against the uh, Shane Lobb. To Reinholt. Straight away three for the Zebras. Too hard. Rebound fought for. Reinhardt comes out of there with it. One dribble back to Jordan Reinholt. Now to Utter. 40-31 Rochester. 4.45 to play in the basketball game. Perez inside against Sh Shane Lobb. His jumper on the way is no good, but a foul coming on Shane Lobb. That's going to send Brady Perez in the line to shoot two. Well, Shane Lobb picks up his fourth. Fouls on cast the Teammate. His fourth teammate at the line shooting two for the zero. 443 to play in the game. And Brady Perez at the line for Rochester to shoot two. The Zebra's up right now by 11. No, how about by nine at 4031. Perez with seven points in the game. 
one of three from the line. Free throw for Perez is too hard. Off the back of the rim, he'll have one more. So Brummett back in and coming out as Rands, and it looks like Coach Davis will stay with Shane Lobb now until the game ends yeah. or he fouls out. He fouls out. Freddie Perez with one more looking to push this lead back to double digits. Shot no Ooh. good. Shane Lobb grabs the board. Outlets to Kinzer. Kasson runs down by nine. 4.35 to play in the game. 40-31. Rochester. And Brady oh, Perez, or make that Bryce Abbott. Abbott knocks it out of his hands of Lau on the far side. Lau looking to get it in. Bounce pass into Hartman. Hartman stands in the corner. Skip pass to Kinzer. Kinzer picks his way through the defense, works on the right wing. Bounce pass to Hartman. He takes baseline. Ball tipped. Picked up by Brummett. Who sends left wing to Lau. 4.15 to play in the game. Rochester up 40-31. Lau works to the left wing against Abbott. Bounce pass to Hartman. Hartman against Perez in the man-to-man -man defense. Lau pass inside to Kinzer. Kicks it back outside to Hartman. Three left baseline is no good. Ryan Arts, the weak side rebound, and outlets to, uh, to Ryan Hold. To Abbott. And he travels. Nope. We're nope. going to have a timeout. timeout. Rochester to 60. You're listening to Zebra Basketball 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. 3.52 to play in the game. Rochester up 40-31 after the Rochester timeout. Both teams with three timeouts left. Casting with the possession arrow. Brad Thomas, I'm David Musselman. Utter, bounce pass into Abbott. Back to Utter. Left wing against the cast of man-to-man -man defense. Now Reinhold has it. He works between the rings of the volleyball line. Utter with the basketball. Dribbles to the top of the key. Switches directions to the right elbow now. Down to Reinhardt's leaner on the way. Again, Shane Lobbs partially blocked. And he chucks the basketball out of bounds on the outlet pass. It'll stay with, go back to Rochester. Reinhold looked to trigger it in the far side. Three and a half to play in the game. Rochester by nine. Bryce Abbott now runs the point. Huh. Abbott top of the key against Kinzer. Oh, to Brady Perez. Well, they're begging him to go right, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Ryan Holt, I make that utter against Shane Lobb. Pass is deflected. Abbott has it. Abbott in the paint. Leaner on the way. The fadeaway is off the Ooh. rim, no good. And Reinhardt is going to pick up the foul on the rebound. That'll be Reinhardt's second. Team fifth. The second team fifth. Had kind of a casual feel to the second half of this ball game. Rochester, you know, leading by double digits most of this second half. But here we sit with just a little over three minutes to go in the game, and it's only nine points. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I mean, the way Kinzer's been shooting the basketball, they could close that gap in a hurry. 3.08 to play in the game, 40-31. Kinzer's we got uh, 16 points for Kasten on four three-pointers. 16, is that it? Yeah. I really thought it was more than that. It just feels like more than that. Yeah. Again, girls game tomorrow night. Rochester girls home with Plymouth. That's going to be a 6 o'clock JV tip with about a 7.30 pregame show here on WROI. Lau with the basketball high on the right side for Kasten. Under three to play in the game. Rochester by nine. Lau bounce pass to Shane Lobb. Taken away by Utter. Utter. Jump stop in the paint. Gives to Reinhardt. Leaner on the way is good. Nice dish by Utter. Good finish by Reinhardt. Good job by Utter not to turn that ball over. He kind of lost control of it there right at the last minute, but still found the cutting Reinhardt's. Rochester by 11 at 42-31. Two and a half to play in the game. Brummett, left elbow against Reinhardt's. Free throw line now outside to Kinzer. He'll take a three straight away. Good again. Kinzer now with 19. Kasten will take a timeout. It's a 60. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions, 
online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Rochester basketball to bounds against Caston's full court press here. Rochester's got to take care of the basketball here down the stretch. They turn the ball over and Cassie could quickly be right back in this with a couple of shots. Right hold on the right wing, gives to Perez, or make that uh, Abbott in the right baseline. Rice dribbles to the wing. Now bounce pass top of the key to Utter. Utter drives it right of the elbow extended. To Abbott now behind the arc, right in front of the Rochester bench. Looks back door to Perez, can't find him. But bounce pass to Utter. And now Rochester will take another timeout. It'll be a 30. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV 4. 1.56 to play in the game. Rochester up 42-34. After their timeout, it'll be out of bounds to the Zebras right in front of their own bench going to our right. Abbott, Perez, Utter, Reinhold, and Reinhardt on the floor for Rochester. Lau, Hartman. Uh, Kinzer steals the inbound pass. Yep, Kinzer on the floor and Shane Lobb as well for the Comets. And then Abbott per- steals the pass. Abbott, left side of the floor, jump stop, rises up, shot's good. Nice job by Bryce Abbott. Makes amends for the inbound pass, yep. turnover, and gets a bucket. Rochester back to 10 with 90 seconds to play in the game. Kinzer to Shane Lobb on the left wing. Shane Lobb looks back door to Kinzer. Good defense by the Zebras. Cutting that passing lane off. Now to Lau, yep. left wing, top of the key to Kinzer. Kinzer behind the arc. Step back three is good. Wow. 21 now for Kinzer. 44 37. A minute 10 to play in the game. Right Holt crosses the timeline right with Blau in his hip pocket. Outside of Perez, who hands off to Ryan Holt. Under a minute to play in the game. Rochester 44 37 lead. Utter over the top to, Perez, uh, to uh, Abbott. And he is fouled as Austin Utter. He'll go to the line to shoot one of the bonus. Brummett picks up his second. Utter with eight points for the Zebras. 52.7 to play in the game. Rochester up 44-37. And Austin Utter at the line to shoot one of the bonus for the Zebras. First one of the way, nothing but net. He'll have one more. Would he be the next double-digit yes. scorer? Yes, he would. The second one? Yep. Obviously, he would be a double-digit scorer, but I meant the second <laughs> one. <laughs> I knew what you meant. Utter's second one is good, good again. 46-37. Rochester by nine. 50 seconds to play in the game. Kinzer has his pocket pick from behind by Reinhold. Jordan left side of the floor. Threads the needle. Abbott layup. Good. 40 seconds. Bryce Abbott with eight now. Rochester by 11. He's probably got eight and eight, to tell you the truth. <laughs> he probably does. Wow. Jumper no good. Shane Lobb's put back no good. Abbott's going to pick up the foul. It'll be four on Abbott. Fouls on Zebra's 30. Abbott is fourth. Team six. Headline shooting two, number 13, Shane Lobb. Shane Lobb with just four points for the Comets tonight. His free throw is no good. No good. He'll have one more. One more coming for Shane Lobb. Second of the way for the sophomore is no good. Utter with the rebound. Austin to Abbott with 20. Rochester by 11. Reinhold across the timeline to Utter with 16. And he is fouled by Hartman with 16.5 to play in the game. Well, Rochester are going to run their... Go ahead. No, it's just four on Hartman. Rochester going to run their mark to eight and... Seven and five. Seven and five. Okay, that's right. Yep. 
Cast are going to slip to 1 and 11. Hutter's free throw is good as it rattles in. And Coach Davis makes a line change. One more coming for the senior, Austin Utter. Pushes the lead to 13, which might be the biggest of the night. I think you're right. Second for Utter is good again. 16 seconds. Casting across the timeline with 12. <clears throat> now with nine. Near side to Mills with six. Mills works to the right wing. Near side. Jumper shot no good at the buzzer, and that'll do it. The final, 50-37. Rochester defeats the Comets here at home. Post game show coming up next, 92.1 WROI and RTC TV4. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com.